Hey YouTubers, Tess Jess one here. Got a couple of things to talk about today. And uh, my first will be this baby, which I will do a, a video on shortly. Pred one, number one, the first one. <clears throat> Got this from a, an Australian seller. Um, he wants to get rid of some of his predator stuff because he's going to uni and the costs are getting a bit high so he's uh, I was uh, lucky to score the opportunity of buying this baby and um, it, it was good it was a good buy it was 187 delivered okay and um, basically I got it for a hundred and sixty dollars or something hundred sixty five dollars <clears throat> and um, some minor issues with it. Um, the pouch here on the left leg was not attached, and I still think it needs alterations. I've got to look at some other videos to see what the original one looks like, but that wasn't attached, so I fixed that up. The hose on the back was not attached to the top, but I have inserted a um, pin head and half a needle in through the middle of this hose and attached it that way so it's probably stronger than what the original version was like so that's been repaired quite strong okay there was a couple of ferns that I didn't get well I did get one it was broken off and I found that in the packaging but it missed I was missing uh, a very small one here I mean there's one already there and there's another one that's supposed to come out from the other side uh, that's the one I repaired just here um, other than that the guy didn't like the stand he said I'll throw I'll give you the predator stand but I don't like the original one I don't know why I've attached this um, the support uh, rod or bar or at the back here that goes under his groin uh, clicked in I cleared all the glue out that he had put in there and cleaned it all out and got it back to where it was normally supposed to look like and uh, put it in no eyes at all it's solid as I'm holding it I don't know what the problem was so uh, yeah that's been repaired yeah fix that fern just got to find another piece of fern just to finish off my um, complete predator but in general I just love the look of him it's my first predator got the uh, the first version I'm not too sure I think the classic version 2 is um, bigger but I don't want bigger I just like this one yeah yeah, um, yeah the detail and in, in the uh, the mask has got me I just I just love the shiny slimy look and the overall look of him there you go. You guys are all saying it, so I'm not going to get keep flashing. Flash. I just want to do a quick talk about it and just say, I think it was his name was Pred Two on eBay. He's um, selling some of his stuff. I think he's getting rid of Predator Two without the stand because I've got it. And um, yeah, the, I'm happy with the yeah. So I was going to buy. I'm not too sure now. I just. Uh, the issue I had with this one is just that he, I was missing the hand, the gripping hand that holds the uh, skull and the spine holds this one. Um, I, I don't have that, so I've got to see if I can score one on eBay to finish my set off. But I have the, comp the rest of it's here. Really happy. I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, thanks for, to Pred2 for uh, such a reasonable price. Yeah, that was well done. I've still I got the box. It was in brilliant condition as far as I was concerned. And uh, yeah, overall, very happy. Very happy to have it displayed in my new cabinet. So yeah, very good condition. And I know for a fact which you'll get it. The light works. So yeah. Yep, everything works. Just got to get that extra hand and fix the fern. It'll be complete.
and I had the box and the packaging. So for a hundred and probably a hundred sixty-five, well, was probably an extra ten bucks for the two sets of hands. Maybe I'm eBay. To, I'm going to get the classic Predator hands to uh, that can grip as well, and see if I can. Um, You'll see if I have to paint them up or not and uh, put them on this character because uh, I like the shape of the predator, classic Predator's hands. I think they are a lot better. Okay, that's that enough talking about that. Okay, next is look what I got. That's it. King of Boxing, the final round. Wow, about time. Very excited, very excited. A uh, couple of things I wasn't sure about with it. I mean, you don't need to get a stand, which is, I wish you do get a stand, so I just mean I have to go out and buy another hot toy stand or whatever. Um, just wasn't sure about the feet. You know, the, the bare feet. What do you do with them? I really, I'm not too sure because I thought it was to, to put on the normal um, office uh, shoes. These ones here. But they've already got the um, the feet in them, the moulds in them, ready for the pegs to go straight in. So it's not for the office shoes. He's he's wearing his boots now. So which also had the moulds in. So I'm not too sure. Just bare feet. Yeah. Anyway, different. Anyway, okay. The the seller was uh, very apologetic and uh, the reason that he was it was delayed is that he had um, sold mine my uh, my Mike Tyson yeah I was pretty upset I didn't I didn't realize that had occurred and was wondering why that there was such a delay and um, he made up for it in a different way and I was very thankful for it I thought well, it's a bit different I'll, uh, sort of an exclusive to me really but I'll I'll show you what I thought about look at the camera okay I've, I've got the um, the suits all right a lovely detail inside like uh, one six scale said is very well done and I agree with him the belt the pants all quality made and we've got some shoes here with the pegs and the socks and then five sets of hands one nose picker clapping hands and I think you wear them with the suit and the fists which is also uh, used in the suit a few times okay and the feet yeah, the feet. Okay, and and some lovely older Mike Tyson head, very very well painted in detail. Got the Ward tattoo, the Mari tattoo. Yep, yeah, very well. Got the smiley guy. You know, he did smile a few times. He's happy now. There's the serious. Got issues, Mike Tyson with the tattoos and, I, and I, I don't know why but I've got this and I realized what it was okay it's an ear now I thought what's what's an ear what's an ear got to do with Mike Tyson and then I had a piece of paper talking about the Mike Tyson 1997 exclusive the Mike Tyson Holyfield biting incident that's what the ear is so there you go I have an exclusive 1997 Mike Tyson biting Holyfield's ear edition so Amber Ray, I know you're getting pretty excited now. And uh, one six scale, I know you've got one. So there you go. 
something to talk about. What do you think, guys? I'll give you a side profile, you know, in a close up. The much talked about Holyfield ear. And he's clearly biting it. As you can see, he's clearly biting it. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. Absolutely love him. <clears throat> I will have to get a stand. He is a bit wobbly on the um, joints. Well, with mine, the um, the feet were a bit loose. <coughs> Sorry, and the um, the arms are a bit floppy. Yeah, just just a bit, little bit floppy. Nothing about a bit of um, tack can uh, glue can fix up. So yeah, guys. I will do a quick video on that and uh, show you, uh, do a good demo on it. So okay. here you go. That's all I've got to talk about. Just put him over there next to Mike Tyson. Bit of a size difference there, isn't there? I'm gonna back, I'm gonna back Predator. Yep, definitely backing Predator. I think he's going to, um, I don't think Tyson's going to bite his ear off, and um, I think he will do it in the first round. Yep. Okay, guys. Nice chit chat, and uh, yes, that's Test Jess 1 out. Catch ya.